Hey lovers. lovers, welcome back to our channel. It's Lover Girl Zane. I'm Lover Boy Cohen. And, and today. This is Lover's IRL. <laughs> today, this is Lover's IRL. And this is Lover's IRL. 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 Alright, so today's challenge is what are we gonna do? Today we are going to do a mini challenge that's usually done throughout the whole day, but we only have the time right now. So um, it's a challenge where you basically order what's the person ordered in front of you. How do you what you you order? Order what the person's ordering. So the person or in front of me is ordering for you. So whatever they get, <laughs> we're gonna get. Yeah. So if it's one fry, we're gonna get one fry. Yeah, and we're at McDonald's, so they better get fries. If they don't, like, I might have to go and fry and be like, what are you even doing here? And we haven't eaten yet. We haven't yeah. eaten lunch yet, so kind of hungry. I'm dying, I'm starved. Look at, you can't see me anymore, I'm so skinny. Just kidding. <laughs> and oh. And I, oh. Probably customers. We will be closing our store at 9 30 p.m. due to period. Which one should we go on? Should we go on the right one or the left? The left one. Uh, oh my gosh, he just left. What? I didn't see it. <laughs> no, I can't see anything. I'm blind, guys. Happy, welcome to McDonald's. Would you like to try me in it made flashy? Uh, no. Can I just get the. The same thing the person in front of me ordered. I'm sorry? Can I just get the same thing the person ordered in front, in front of, of me? The previous order? I'm sorry? Can I get the same thing the person in front of me ordered? You're the one who ordered the Big Mac and a Quarter Pounder? Can I, I don't know what they ordered. I just want I just want the same thing. I didn't know. Uh, is it the next time here? Yeah, in front of me. The last time? Yeah. They yeah. ordered the Big Mac and Quarter Pounder. Okay, yeah. So you want one? Is that two? Yeah. So that's how we ordered it. Yep, that's it. Big Pounder, thank you. They did not get fries. I'm about to go ape. <gasps> I. Does that come with fries or no? No. So. Can we order for more for fries? <laughs> but I want fries! I'm so sad. I've never had a McDonald's burger though. The girl basically told us. She was so confused. The order. No one has ever done it, I guess. <laughs> she was like, huh? Which car? Behind you? I was like, wait, we don't even have drinks. What? What is with these people? Don't so yeah, it's not a surprise. You can't. We basically know like what we're gonna get. Okay. What are you eating? <laughs> Can you get ketchup? Okay. Okay. There she is. <laughs> Hi guys. We're so. back. We're back. Um, you know when you jinx yourself like a couple of like minutes ago. Yeah, I did that. They did not order fries. Um, I'm judging. I am so sad. And that's why we also got fries. <laughs> <laughs> also, they didn't have, they didn't order a drink. Yeah. What the heck, we're supposed to eat a burger with no drink? Yeah, so this is sort of a failed challenge because we ordered fries. Because she wanted on. fries and there was no drink too, so we were just like, fuck it. You know, we're like, do it. well, how are we gonna do it? How are we gonna eat the dry? I'm hungry, like, I need something to like water it down. But we still ordered what they ordered, so. Yeah, a Big Mac and a quarter pounder cheese. So, um, which one do you want? The cheese, kinda. But I'll do a Big Mac, because like, I've never really. 
She's, She's never good. really been in my mouth. I've never actually. You can even add in the title: first time eating a Mac McDonald burger. I've Mexican. never Mexican. A McDonald burger. I've never eaten a McDonald burger. I um. If you guys didn't know, I immigrated here, and McDonald's, like my family, they're very like go green and stuff. And um, oh my god, that looks yeah, this grand. looks in interesting. Eat this. I haven't had a quarter pounder also in a long while, and we're also gonna um, answer the questions that you guys ask us online on Instagram. Oh, okay. Not my first bite though. Okay, me too. I'm kind of hungry. Ready? Oh, there is pickles. Are you okay. ready? Are you ready? I'm gonna take out the pickles. Yum. Yum. Mm. Oh, you better ready. <laughs> kind of dry. The lighting is so bad, like, I just give up already. So, the first question is from underscore Nika Med Medina. She said, Are you guys planning on making Lily an IG account? <laughs> okay, we thought about this, but. We think we have a lot of IG accounts already. We have too many IG accounts. So Lover's IRL would just be hers, and then we'll just make a section for her. Yeah. Can we switch? Hello? This is interesting. Yours have more of an integrity. Wow. Next is from from sistercloset.gu. Oh my gosh. Sister Closet. I'm not giving you this back. That's I like good, this right? one better. So she said, Tips on how to maintain a successful relationship. <laughs> Yo, what is up with this lining? Like, <laughs> oh, hi. oh my gosh. Tips on it, um, not giving up on each other. And really, if you love somebody, like, I don't think you'll give up. Yeah, it's about like just both of you wanting to be in the relationship. Like, if one of you don't, then they will just get, give up and not make an effort. So, just you know, if you want to be in it, then you have to show that you do want to be in it. So it takes two to tango. Wow, she's a poet. Why is there like no salt in this like fry? Why is there like no salt in this like fry? No salt. No salt. No salt. I'm not having a good McDonald's day. Do you want me to move over there? Nah, it's cool. I wanna like turn around. Okay. <laughs> okay guys, we moved for better lighting. <laughs> Vloggers. Yeah. Did I touch the thing? Or is that no, just the No, there's a light okay. in behind us. I'll cover it with my big head. Okay, but right now, I love the quarter pounder. Jordan Santos said, do y'all plan on ever having kids? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want three. I'm down for three. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but I think for now, like, Lily's good. Like, she's... Yeah. I feel like she's better than a baby. No, right now we're like practicing with Lily and balancing like our work and our um, life situation. Yeah, so and baby think, is not like... Yeah, it's not there, but like we talked about it, but um, right now we're both like focusing on our career. I mean, we're pretty young still, so maybe we'll give our career more love for like what? Three more, five more years? Like that. Maybe even less. <laughs> Yeah, and then maybe in between where we're trying to get, we can we can have a, a little bundle of joy. And then we'll have like three more lilies. <laughs> yeah, I want a kind of big family because my family's like that. So go green. Look at the yeah, we got a straw today. Wait, I wanted to get boba today, but I guess we cannot because this is my calorie intake. My question. From Jules. Robles. Rob? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm illiterate. Um, what inspired you to make the brand Love Club? You want me to answer? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So initially, it was supposed to be a lover boy. It was really just like a brand for me. You know what I mean? Like I just like creating things. 
I just like creating outfits and clothing and stuff. So like literally it was just lover boy. But then mm. as time went on, I like started, I started dating Zane. <laughs> she just inspired me to make it a universal brand, like for mm -hmm. everybody to use and to everybody to love. So we wanted to make a brand that was universal. And for everybody. And I think when That's we were... <laughs> Yeah, and I think when we started dating, we had like talks about like in high school where like Just go like that In high school where we were like He was labeled as too feminine because he was basically just grooming himself, you know, combing his hair, doing his hair Hold Putting on. gel on Fashion stuff Oh, okay. oh okay, there you go And then like I was I was looked upon as like a lesbian just because I focused on extracurricular activities and extracurricular activities and like just like my studies and just my friends like I just that's what I did like I I dated some boys but that's it like I didn't never really took it seriously so everybody really thought I was like a lesbian and I don't know like people really judge you and label you as a label as, yeah as soon as you're somebody that doesn't fit in or looks weird or does something that's sort of in this category or not so we were kind of like you know what let's make it for everybody because we both distinguish this like stereotypical thing and then we also have family members who are in the lgbtq and i think there's an added there's added to the lgbtq one so we're like you know what let's make it let's do it let's make the place let's yeah like we wanted to make we wanted to make a brand that stood for something that meant a lot to people mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay, next. What's the best part about being a dog mom? Being the mom, like buying. Okay, I love shopping <laughs> for her. I love shopping organic stuff for her. I like making decisions for her. I like to be like in check of like, oh my gosh, what shot is she taking? I just really get so excited to like plan her day and then like I timed her like lunch for her and like, and then to have like my man to be supportive and be like caring for her. Hold on, Marie is here. Uh, what? That was my sister. That was his sister. We're going bowling tonight. Woo! And Jane's birthday is on Thursday. Woo! Did you finish that? Yeah, I'm done. I'm so irritated because my ear is ringing. I want to like kill myself. I, I just love being it and like it kind of ease in the thought of having a baby because I'm really deathly terrified of having one. Yeah, that's an insight in my braininess brains. Okay. I like being a dog dad because like most of my work is at home, oh, and then whenever yeah. she's at work, like I have nobody to like talk to, mm -hmm. but myself. And I started going crazy. <laughs> but like, but yeah, like now I now I have Lily at home, hold and talk to. Yeah. And that's. Would you prefer to be hurt by someone you love most or by someone you trust most? That's Vi Byron Robago. Shout out to Byron. He's a real one. He always comments. Uh -huh. he always... Oh yeah, the other question was Micah Dimps. I would say be hurt by someone you trust the most. Because <clears throat> someone you love, maybe you, you're just like blinded by loving them. But someone you trust, you would be like, you had that understanding and you probably got you guys probably had that talk where like yo what up i trust you 100 percent you might ride or die you know if you know if you know yeah you know so it's like yeah who usually cooks this is uh byron again lover girl or lover boy okay um so the thing is <laughs> so no the one. thing is <laughs> one last question I love my freaking straws, guys. Look at this. Look at this. So, this Kiona script. Castro said, How'd y'all meet? We met on the Twitter DMs, if you guys didn't know. Um, so, I was really into The Weeknd, the album. Um, what's the album? Oh my gosh, I forgot. But the album. Starboy. That, Starboy, yeah. The Starboy album. And I was like, <clears throat> I really love the, everything in that song, by the way. I know, okay? So, let's. Let's just take that in, even though I didn't know the album name. But I was like, hmm, I wish somebody could like listen to me 
with me. Listen to the album with me. Yeah, listen to the album with me. And he, he like slid in the DMs and he was like, And then I said, oh. NO. This emoji. Like he was like, What's good? What's poppin'? And then I was like, Oh, hey, what's up? You're cute. And I, like, I stalked him a little, you know, internet thing, internet love. You stalk, you stalk them a little. And then um, I gave him my number. <laughs> and, it, and I know, like, in like, in this story like it was it's like it's like fast and you like you get it but no i um we sent like four message bubbles after and i was like i was like really tired that day and i did a shoot and i was just like okay fuck it like i just sent him my like because he was cute he was funny and he was already like tagging me before and so i just like gave him my number like fast like i did it he was like I sent him my number so fast that he replied I could not forget it. Like, is this how you flirt? Like, that's what he put. Like, is this how you flirt? Ha ha ha. And I was just like, <gasps> my dignity. I just put her on the spot. Yeah, she, he did. And I was just like, I knew he was the one because he would call me out on my <gasps> Yeah. Wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my ear is ringing, guys. You guys know what tendonitis is? Because that's what I got. Tetanitis? Tenetitis. That's when your ear is ringing. My left ear is ringing. They're ringing. She said hello. <laughs> Make up. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Let us know if you guys like this video. Mm -hmm. We're trying to do more, more challenges on Fridays. So we really need more inspo on what yeah. we're going to do every Friday. So comment down below what you want us to do. All right, so for every Friday video, we will be announcing the comment of the week. So yeah, we're not doing it on Mondays. We're just doing it on Fridays. All right, so the comment of this week is, goes to Jenica Espiritu. Um, she said, you don't have to shop for clothes when your man can make them for you. True. True. But yeah, shout out to you. And also, she is actually my coworker. So I love her for that. She's so supportive of me. I love her lashes and her nails. So if you, sh you see her in person, like. If you see her, you see her. You see her, you see her go. She's always on point. She's like, oh, you Jenica who commented? Mm-hmm. All right, also, we do want to start get doing giveaways. First giveaway will be uh, once we reach 200 Subscri followers. 200, 200 subscribers. subscribers. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> keep that in mind. So like, get us to 200 subscribers and we're going to do a giveaway. So do that screenshot, puss it up, put it up, puss, puss it, it up. up. <laughs> puss it up, puss it up, please. Yeah, put us on your story, tag us, mm -hmm. whatever, you know, you know, if you know, you know. But yeah, actually we love your support, guys, and we love that you enjoy the vlogs that we do and the videos that we do, and yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and click the bell button so you don't miss any of our videos. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. And don't forget to follow me at LoverGirlZane. Don't forget to follow me at LoverBoyCohen. And follow us at Lovers IRL. Follow Lily. Lily at Lovers IRL. Alright. Bye, Bye. lovers! <laughs> <laughs>